Data validation is one of the most important tools in Excel to create dynamic reports and dashboards. Until recently, we had to prepare for creating drop lists by extracting a list of unique values. Not anymore. I am Nabil Murad. In this tutorial, I show you what we have been doing for decades, then what we recently did with dynamic arrays, and finally, what we currently do. So let's have a look. In this worksheet, I have a list which shows a payment, a product, region, and sales. I would like to create a drop list for the payment, and I'm going to use the technique that we have been using for decades. I need to copy the list of payment methods outside so as not to mess up the original list. I select the top value, I hit shift control down arrow, and then I click on copy on the home tab, and then I select cell F1 and I paste. Then I just copy the payment methods. I want to remove the duplicates. I can go to the data tab of the ribbon and click on remove duplicates, or I can use the shortcut Alt AM. The remove duplicates dialog box opens. I hit OK, and now I have a single occurrence of each payment method that I can be using for creating my drop list. To create a drop list, I select the destination cell, and on the data tab of the ribbon, I click on data validation. Alternatively, I use the shortcut Alt D L tab L tab. And now I select the different payment methods, I hit OK, and I would have created a drop list for the different payment methods. Recently, with the introduction of dynamic array functions, we can avoid the step of copying the list of values outside and then removing the duplicates. I can do that in one single step by using the unique dynamic array function. So in cell F1, I'll be typing equal unique, and then I hit tab. I select the range of payment methods, shift control down arrow, control backspace to jump back to the top. I close the bracket and hit enter, and I would have created a list of unique values. Definitely this technique is easier, it saves a step, and now I'm going to create my drop list out of the spilled array range. Then I select the destination cell, I hit the shortcut, Alt D L tab L tab, and then I select just the top cell and I type the spilled array symbol, Shift-3 on my keyboard, I hit OK, and I would have created my drop list. Now, the most recent technique for creating a drop list does not even require creating a list of unique values, and it has a lot more advantages. Would you like to create a drop list for the different payment methods? Select the destination cell right away, hit the shortcut Alt D L tab L tab, and in the data validation dialog box, select the range, having the different options for the payment methods. I hit shift control down arrow, control backspace, and then I hit OK, and I'm done. When I click on the down pointing arrow, automatically it keeps one single occurrence of each payment methods. The duplicates are automatically removed. I can select any payment method, but on the other hand, it's a searchable drop-down list. So if I want to select another option, let's say I type D. Now I can see the options that start with letter D. It's a searchable drop-down list. It shrinks just to the options, starting with the character I type. Then I can select whichever option I want. There is still a limitation if we have blanks. So I'm going to create another drop-down list for the regions. And in the region column, we do have some blanks. So let's see what happens when I select a range having blanks. I click on data validation on the data tab, or I use the shortcut Alt L tab L tab. And here I need to click and drag to select the different options. And then I hit OK. Now if I look at the drop list, it includes the blank. And that's a problem. In the online version of Excel, blanks are automatically removed. I assume this will come to the desktop version soon. But here is a bonus point for you. If you want to create a drop list without having any blanks, then I can use a combination of dynamic array functions. I go to the next worksheet. I want to create a drop list for the different regions. 
Then I'm going to use a unique dynamic array function, equal unique, and then I hit tab. I select the entire range having the different regions, and then I close the bracket for the unique function. The function returns a zero for the blank, but it removes the duplicates, and that's fine. I want to sort this list in a descending order. Then I'm going to wrap my unique function in a sort function. I type sort. And then I click at the end, I type a comma. For the sort index, I skip this argument because I have one single column, and then I type minus one for descending. When I hit enter, now I have the blank at the end of the list. I'm going to get rid of this blank by wrapping the sort and unique function in a drop function. I select the top cell, I click before the sort, and I type drop. I hit tab, I want to drop the last row, then I click at the end, I type a comma, and I type minus one, I close the bracket, and then I hit enter. Now I can refer to this list returned by the drop, the sort, and unique for creating by data validation drop list. On the data tab, I click on data validation, I select list, and then I put my blinking cursor in the source box, I select the top value, then I type the spilled array symbol, shift three on your keyboard, I hit okay, and now I would have created a drop list having no blanks. This is the evolution of the data validation. What we used to do long ago, what we recently did using the unique dynamic array function, and finally, what we can do now, the wow technique that automatically removes the duplicates and creates a searchable drop-down list. If you found value in this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel to be notified when your tutorials are released. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching and see you next time.